everyone, Jim from Javelin here with another SolidWorks tech tip. Uh, this one, this time I'm going to be talking about weldments. So I'm going to create a sketch here on my top plane. I'm going to create a rectangle and take notice of the fact that I'm starting on the origin and I'm going from right to left. Let's just dimension that. I'll make that 12 inches. And let's make this 8.5 inches. Okay, so I have my rectangle. Let's exit out of that. Now, I've already created another plane up here. It's offset. So let's create another sketch on this. We'll go normal too. And this time I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use my rectangle and I'm going to go from left to right rather than from right to left. We'll make it the same size just to be consistent. So let's exit out of that sketch. So now I have two seemingly identi identical rectangles. Let's go to the Weldments tab, and I'm going to add a structural member. Now we're going to use an angle iron. We'll make it 20 by 20. Then I'm going to pick these four lines. Notice I started by selecting the horizontal line. Just to show you, I have 0 degrees set here as my angle, and we're going to click OK. Now notice that the flange is on the outside. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this upper rectangle. And you'll expect that, the f that if I'm doing everything exactly the same, that the result will be exactly the same. So I'll go ahead and I'll select these. Now judging by my preview, it looks like the flange is on the inside. And if I look down here, my angle is at zero, just as before. But when I click OK, I look and I say, hey, wait a minute. I did everything the same, but the result is different. Why is this? Well, let's take a look at what's happening. I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit my feature and I'm going to look at locate profile. And you'll notice that it places the sketch on this end of the line, on the left end of the line, on the first line that I'd selected. So the left end of the first line that I'd selected. Okay, let's do the same thing for that bottom section. Edit the feature, locate the profile. Now the sketch for this one is located on the right side of the first line that I had selected. And that is what is causing the difference between the flange being on the outside and the flange being on the inside. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, why is it that it's selecting the right edge on this one and the left end of the line on this one? The reason for that has to do with the start point and the end point of the line. Now, within SolidWorks, Let's just create a new sketch here. Within SolidWorks, if I'm creating a line, I have a start point where I start my line, and I have an end point where I end my line. The order in which I, I make these points is important. I'll make another line the opposite way directly below it so that you can see. Okay, so let's exit out of that sketch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my weldments and add a structural member. Now if I pick this line first, you'll notice, you'll remember that this one I started on the left and went to the right. My sketch is on the left. Let's unselect that and we'll select the other line. You'll notice this time it starts on the right and it goes to the left. Now that's the first thing you'll notice. The second thing you'll notice is that the angle itself seems to be different. The reason for this has to do with the uh, the rotation angle. So let's let's cancel out of this, and instead let's let's go back to the other structural members that I'd created. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to edit the feature, and actually let's get rid of these other three lines just to make things a little bit more clear. So if I look at this, what you'll notice, I'm going to reorient my view so that. I'm looking at this line so that the sketch is on the side closest to me and it's extruding away. So let's start rotating this. As I increase the angle, it moves in a clockwise manner about that edge. So let's cancel this and let's go edit the other feature. I'm going to edit this feature. We'll remove those other three lines. Now, if I look at it from this way, 
you'll notice my profile sketch is now on the opposite side as it was before. So now the extrusion is coming towards me. So as I rotate this, it's still moving clockwise, but it's moving clockwise relative to the other side. So if I rotate around, and once again I have my, my uh, sketch on the side closest to me, as I increase this, my profile still rotates in a clockwise manner.